Hey guys, today is May 20th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly and we are on Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube right in the middle of FQS Stitch Mania. I have gotten so much done. Super, super excited to show you everything. We have a ton of stuff to show you today. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of jump right in and just kind of start showing you the stuff that I've done. Um, my staff has been doing some mania, so we have a ton of stuff to show you. I've got three finishes this week and I'm proud to say that I have four mania finishes already. And honestly, I'm just doing it because I have nothing else to do. I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to, nothing to do. So um, I'm pretty much just stitching to control my anxiety, which is great to have that to do. So I will start with May 13th. So on this one, This is the Autumn Monochromatic by Little House Needleworks. And I changed the color. In the pattern, it comes with a different color. I changed it to Maple Leaf. On this one and all of my monochromatics, because there's four that go with this, I have two finished and then I have um, two unfinished. I'm doing these with the silk thread and I'm doing one stitch at a time. Now going forward, I'm just not gonna do that anymore because um, it's I can stitch faster if I stitch in rows and so um, I'm gonna tell you something funny these are little acorns and they look like fallopian tubes when I was stitching them I was like oh my god it's women body parts sorry that's just me being this is like I got nothing that's, that's, hilarious. that's my joke for today so um, that I think I took about two hours maybe two and a half hours on that um, so I think that'll be one of my fast ones. The next one is June Trucking Along. That is a brand new series that we have. And we have a club. And I'm a member of the club. This is a little bag from Dot Dot Goose. So their patterns are really nice. These are Priscilla and Chelsea stitching with the Housewives patterns. Um, they're on really nice paper, really nice bags and i stitched june this took me quite a while pretty much just sat on the couch and didn't move and i am gonna go ahead and just add the bottom right underneath it instead of leaving a gap um i had just decided that in the beginning so um let's see one two three four five this took me about seven hours so it took a lot of time to do the checkerboard um july doesn't have a checkerboard and i'm working on july this next week so i'm thinking it won't take me as long but i just sat on the couch and just didn't move so that is june trucking along and june was the first one so it's gonna go for 12 months and i'm gonna stitch all of mine in one piece so that was day two feels like home part three so on this, I was gonna talk about this again. I'm getting questions. I stitched one over one with just two strands and I just used the regular needle. I didn't, you know, I didn't change to a fatter needle, which you probably should because um, it's mesh, but I didn't. So I have it kind of all in here. So this is the Feels Like Home PDF that we have and I'm not gonna pull the pattern out because I might show the wrong one. So this is part one, part two, part three. And then on Friday, we will send you an email of part four, which is gonna go right here. So I'll finish that hopefully this week. It's kind of a big chunk. It might take a little bit longer. Like the house took me two weeks. It might take me two weeks. And then over here is gonna be part five. So if you haven't signed up for that PDF, um, it's really fun and I love how people have changed the different bird colors. So really fun. I'm stitching on the Cloud Lugana by Lori Holt. Um, a really nice alternative would just be white witchel or antique white. And um, this only took me about two and a half, three hours right here. And I just did the pink first and then the home. And just to show you the difference, if you look at Cheryl's in the letters, you can really see that variegation. And that's because she does one stitch at a time. And I do my stitches 
just in rows and so you don't get as much variegation with that and I'm okay with it. So just to kind of show you, we get a lot of questions on working with hand dyed. So if you really wanna see that variegation, then do one stitch at a time. If you wanna go fast like me, do this. And so it's really up to you on, you know, how much time. Um, and here's the back. It looks like the front. So, and I am keeping a needle with every single project just so that I save time. And then at the end, I'll just have a bunch of needles left over so I don't have to grab. So that was day 15. The next one is Kringles. And oh my goodness, I'm in for it here. Let me tell you about this. This is... This is the Little House Needleworks market release. And these are the new itty bitty boards. And so when I'm done with a thread, I've just been letting it, it sticks on there. And then I've been putting, I keep losing a needle on this one. So I keep putting my needles when I find them because I just lose them in my bed and then I refine them. I just put them in there. So those are our new bitty boards by Lori Holt. And so this one I did have to work a ton on. So I finished the bricks, which took forever. So this top row, it was so quick. It was like less than two hours. I got it done so quick. This took forever. I thought it would never end. And it's because, you know, you got to put the green in. And what I did to make it easy is I put all the green in first. And then I did the room outlines because I didn't want the white to bleed into the red. So I did all the white outlines. Then I went back and put all the red in. And um, what's really funny is I made this, but I left the little guy's hands off. And then when I was working on the bricks, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> he looks funny. So if I, I don't know, I might've just totally missed that. Um, but there's a lot of start and stop in here. So it's a lot guys. Um, so this one might kill me. It's really cute how in the trees though, I didn't notice it, they're little candles. And I was stitching it and I was like, what are those? And then when I, when I stitched it, I was like, oh, they're candles. So this week I'm gonna work on room two and that's in a couple of days. I don't know if I'll finish it, but we'll see. So for Mania, I've got this left and this left, um, but I'm super excited about it. Um, it's a big piece but I think it's gonna be really pretty when it's done, it'll be worth it. And Kevin likes it, so that's a plus. The next one is Prim Village. And so guys, I'm gonna tell you, I cheated on this. So this is Prim Village by Lori Holt. I'm using the Prim R Floss box. Okay, on the boxes, we're less than 200 right now. And if you want a Prim R Floss box, I would get it now because the Prim Stitch series will be starting later in the summer. And it's gonna take Aurafil a while to make more boxes because they're based in Italy. So if you are wanting a Prim box, get it now. And this is Prim Village again by Lori Holt. And I cheated and I just finished because I said, I'm just gonna finish this thing. So I decided to go ahead and finish because that's gonna really help me free up time when I should have, you know, I should have had a little bit more left. So on the days that I should be working on this, I will already be done, which is super exciting. And when Lori stitched hers, she stitched on oatmeal on the modeled side. So this is Lori's and you can see her frame and she painted it. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to mail this frame to her. So this is her large square frame. I'm going to mail this to her. She's going to finish it and then I'll show it in my mania wrap up. And um, I'm not going to mail her the paint. She already has it, but she has this paint. It's called Chalky Chicks Paint. And there's all these colors. And so what I thought would be really cool is if in the comments you should you could say what color you think would look really pretty on it because then Lori can read the comments and see. I think aqua, this aqua would look really pretty, but um, 
I'm not really sure what Lori's gonna do, but she'll frame it and finish it for me, which is super awesome to have a friend that will do that for you. Um, so these, these are their little packs. This is the Harvest Time, Farmhouse Neutral, and Sweetest Honey. And so these are just the little sample packs, and it was a way for me to show you all the colors. And then we have larger ones of some of the colors. But I'm super excited to mail that to her today. And um, I'm excited. I know what she'll do is she'll paint it. She won't show me, and then she'll send it back. It'll be a surprise. Ooh. So that's super exciting. So that is my second Mania finish. My first Mania finish was Starlit Snowflake that I showed last week. So I'll put this aside. Okay, and Prim Village took me a total of... I think 67 hours so if y'all are gonna be OCD like me that was um, a lot so the next one is a continuation it is a way to use the same prim R gloss box and not have to buy anything else this is part four and so I can't show you the front of the pattern because the front of the pattern has the full design. But I'm. this is a series. We're selling a pattern club. You can sign up for it, and it starts in July. And you can either stitch it as one big piece, like Lori did, or you can stitch it individually. And Lori's piece is at home, but she's still stitching it all together. And there's information on our site. But if you want to stitch it individually, we are using this prim vintage cloth and if you want a one and a half inch border you only need one pack but for me i wanted more so that i would have room to hold it because that helps me hold it having more of a grip i bought two and then cut them up and then with your first club it will show you um, how to do that so here's a picture of what would come or actually this is what would come in your first month. And what it, this is how it would look all in one piece. And you'll get this printed out with your club and it's got kind of the little stitches on where you start so you won't get confused. And this is how it looks all in one piece. And obviously she's filling in and she's already down to the last row. I just can't show it to you. And if you wanna see my finished one, this is part one. And what she's going to do is, what she was thinking was she would use one frame and use the same frame throughout and I could interchange it. And I said, oh, well, I don't know if I wanna do that. So I sent her 12 of her medium frames and she's gonna paint them with the paint. So you can see she used, oh, sorry, right there. She used that top paint, which is overalls. And so she's going to take these frames and paint them and then they'll be different each time. And then back here, she's using Prim Village or sorry, Prim Fabric, which is about to come out by Riley Blake. And then she used her trim right here, her vintage lace. So um, that's super exciting. But anyway, this is part four. And right after Mania finishes, I've got to finish all of them, all 12. So that'll be fun. And then the next one is Glory by Bent Creek. And so this is another bag that I got from Dot Dot Goose. So on this one, I'll tell you my color. So this is this is a Bent Creek pattern. It's an older pattern. It says glory, and then it's got on top backstitch the alphabet throughout, if you can't see it. But what I'm going to do, I used a Wichell fabric. I used natural light. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put the ABCs because I don't think it needs ABCs. So I used black raspberry jam for this blue, and I had none left. So I used the entire... Skein. I mean, I didn't have a second left. I thought I was going to have to leave a spot, but I didn't. I'm using Buckeye Scarlet, Carriage Black, and Chalk. And so I am going to put the glory part. And on these, they're really fun because there's a lot of open dots. 
and you don't have to fill them in with stitches. So um, that's actually saves a lot of time and it gives a really pretty look. So I like how this is looking. It looks really pretty. So this will be quick to finish. And that's what I have for Mania this week, except I finished two things that I'm going to show you. So with the one that I just showed you, which is Glory, I'm using the same colors and I'm doing Flag of Stars. And I went and finished and this took me like no time at all. Like I think I did that in two hours and I was watching Dateline. I mean, I just like went to town and um, it's called Flag of Stars by Bent Creek. It comes with um, pearl cotton, but I don't want to stitch with pearl cotton. So it's the same exact colors that I had in the other one, except Blue Jay is added for the light blue. And so it's going to be great because I have three that are going to be similar. And at the end, they're going to all kind of go together. And so I can do like a little collage in my house all next to each other. So it's going to be the same colors and it's the same cloth. I cut this Witchell cloth up. It was in my Witchell club that I get from Fat Quarter Shop and I cut it up into three sections. I drew it out on a piece of paper to make it work. And so from that one cloth, I'm going to have three. The other one I haven't started yet, so I can't show it to you yet. It is on, I think it's um, next week that I started. So that's super exciting. So what I'll do with these is I will go ahead and put these in my fabric, I mean my thread stash tonight. And um, this will be my third finish. But that was, I mean, and really with this one, it was so quick because there's a, so much open space. And um, there's just, this took way longer than this. And I didn't carry over in between the stars. Um, I don't know. I just didn't. But it was really fun. I'll just put all these in here. And then my last one is when I was watching the Michael Jordan documentary, or it's not really Michael Jordan, it's the Bulls. So Kevin and I, and whichever kid wants to pay attention, we've been watching that every Sunday night. And I finished this Sunday night because I'd already done my stitching for the Sunday during the day. And so what I did on this is, this is Hands on Design and Priscilla. It's part of the Chalk Full Club, and this is the next to last one. Last night, she released a picture of the very last one. It's called Liberty, so you can find that on Priscilla's blog, which is priscillas2000.blogspot.com. I saw that she posted it this morning. So I reversed the red and the blue. So I made my jar aqua, my ribbon blue, my rosebuds red, and there are some little red um, Smyrna stitches throughout and then some white Smyrna stitches on top of the daisies and um, I like it kind of how it is so I'm not going to add those and I can call this a finish and I've got to go to Hobby Lobby to find something to send to Priscilla to finish it for me so that's super exciting and so on this one I'll put this also in my thread stash tonight so that is my mania and let me know if you have any questions on that and then we'll show um we'll show um some other stuff some cheryl's mania okay. yeah, we have lots of questions uh that came in here uh the first thing i wanted to comment was that uh if you're wondering what fabric kimberly used for any of her mania projects all of that info is over on our blog and we've also posted links below in the description box so there is a page um it's called fqs mania and you can click on it and every fabric i use is in there mm -hmm. all right sharon berkemeyer wants to know do you always put glass over your cross stitch when you frame it if i take it to a framer yes but for example this one Lori's doing for me so i didn't and this one actually has our brand new library cards so it's awesome because she's even going to do my library cards for me. So these, we're selling these to put on the back of your projects and you can put all the information like who it's designed by, stitched by, the cloth, the threads, the frame, the paint color, and you can even write on the back if you want. So it's really awesome because not only does she frame it, 
she puts the little card on it. I have horrible handwriting. That's one thing about me. I have, I really sometimes can't even read my handwriting. Um, so it's good that I have Lori to do my writing. Um, and from Iris Rivera, how, you, how do you manage all the stop and start with the different colors? I believe it was on one of your mania projects that had more colors. Um, I kind of go, I just do one color at a time kind of, but I usually do white first. I'll usually start with my lightest and red, I always, red or black I always do last, white I do first. Whenever I'm stitching, I always have something on in the background, whether it's a podcast or Dateline or Snapped or um, just anything like that. I always have something and I just go really fast because my attention is, is on the TV show. And so I also will set when I sit down, I'm like, okay, I have to finish to this section. You can't stop before. So I kind of do that too to make myself keep going. Uh, Life So Crazy says, how many, how many mania finishes do you have now? Four. So I have Starlit Snowflake, Prim Village, the red, white, and blue one, and Bloom. And Bloom I had added last minute. Um, that wasn't part of my mania in the beginning, so I actually had 32. So, But anything that's on Ada, I can get finished quick. So one thing I have learned from this Honestly, with all this mass stitching is, I'm just gonna really try to use Ada more and more because I can stitch so much faster and I get so much more done with doing Ada. From Wendy Banta, on the Prim series coming in July, are the patterns a month early so you can have time to stitch and display during the month? The Prim series? You just say Prim series. So the Prim series is not, um, it doesn't have a date on it. It doesn't say January, February, March, April. Um, this one is month one, which ships in July. So you would get it the month of July, but not all of them have like a month that goes with them. Like January doesn't have like a New Year celebration or something. So, um, so I guess you wouldn't have time to finish that one in time, but I mean, it didn't take me that long to do it, but they're not really not like the truck series where it says January, February, March, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And like Christmas, it's not like Christmas themed or anything. Okay. Um, from Diana Stoudenberg. Good morning. Awesome ladies. Do you know how many different colors of floss classic color works has? Denise will look. It's like look. 236 or something like that. Whoa. She'll figure it out and we'll come back. All right. Um, from Justine Woodward, what size and count fabric for Prim that starts this summer? Prim is 25 count Prim. Let me find it. So this is the Lori Holt 25 count. The color is Prim. If you're doing it as one full piece, you only need one package. And so this package is bigger than her other 25 count. It is um, 27 by 36, so that's why it's bigger. She made it bigger just for that series. So if you're gonna do it as one piece, you need one. If you're gonna do it as two pieces, you can either buy one and have a one and a half inch border or buy two and have a bigger border like I did. Totally up to you. We do give a cutting diagram that's gonna give you everything in month one so that you won't have questions when you get your pattern, you know, your pattern's gonna come with that extra stuff so you won't have questions. It will also be on our website and any shop can print that out. Mm -hmm. cool. um, from Sam Deutsch, hi, do you know when you will be getting more fabric in for Kringles? We can look, I don't know. I thought we had it in stock. Ooh, we're gonna find out. Um, and then a few people were talking about how the house from Feels Like Home looks like Darth Vader to some people. Um, Feels so, Like Home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so Doreen Deskins had said maybe if you added a chimney to Feels Like Home, or the home on it, it wouldn't look like Darth Vader. So oh, I don't think it looks like Darth Vader. Yeah. I think like if you like look at it a certain way, you see it. And then if you like look at it a different way, you unsee it. So the light ash gray 28 count uh, Lugana by Zweigart, it's SKU 3270-786. That is what, that is what I used and it is in stock. 
So again, the SKU is 3270-786. All right. uh, Wilma Evans says, why do you think you can do much faster with Ada Claw? Because I don't have to count over two and I can see it better and it's just, I don't, because sometimes with the 25 count or other counts, like, it's easy to kind of go into like a hole that's not really there, if that makes sense. Um, and so I have to pull out a lot of the stitches because I'm like, oh, I'm not exactly in the hole. I might've got a hair over or something, so. Okay. Cool, from Angela Stoutinger, can Kimberly suggest 14 count Ada that is medium grade brown pattern is baby, it's cold outside. Okay, repeat. Uh, 14 count that is a medium grade brown. And the pattern she's looking f the, for the cloth for is Baby It's Cold Outside. Can you pull it, Baby It's Cold Outside? Um, I don't remember that off the top of my head. Let's see. Heartstring, hand samplery, brown. Um, lamb's wool, but that has more brown. Um, and if you're looking for an Ada, we do have some Picture This Plus coming in and there's, we bought a lot of neutrals, so that would work. They haven't shipped yet. And maybe some fabric flare, there might be something. I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay. Cool. Well, we can look it up and then we can put it in the comments uh, when we have a good answer. Uh, from Mary Butchholz, uh, what patterns would you recommend for a beginner? For a beginner, anything Lori Holt. So, um, and the reason I say that is because when we publish the patterns, we put it in color and bigger. Um, I would definitely start with 14 count Ada or 10 count vintage cloth. 10 count vintage cloth is really good because it helps you um, really see, kind of get, kind of get your feet wet, or something small, just a smaller chart. Um, a lot of the Lori Holt stitch cards are really small, and so those would be really good because it gives you a feeling of accomplishment to actually finish the chart. Mm -hmm. All right, and in case you wanted to know what the votes are so far for the frame color, uh, lots of people are saying aqua, lots of people are saying pink. I'm also saying mustard yellow. Uh, Papro suggested yellow on the beads and gray on the flat part. Uh, lots of votes, also some reds. I'm seeing some oh. votes for red. Well, the good thing is Lori's been in my house, so she knows what matches my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from Amy Clayton, is Aura Floss color, flat, color Fast like DMC? Yes. And Melody Ritchie, is there a difference between Aura Floss and Sulky Thread? Yes, so Aura Floss is more like DMC. Sulky is where you use one strand versus two, and I've never used the Sulky. Um, I have got really good reviews, and any time that Hands On Design puts a thread pack together with one of her patterns, we sell out really fast. Um, so a lot of people must know how to use it, but it's um, 12 weight is more of, you use one strand and it's thicker. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, classic color works. We think it's about 250 skeins. Sorry, I was like, 250 what? Yeah, classic color works. Wow, that's so a lot. So I said 238, so I was close. Mm -hmm. And of course, like that's not including their silks. That's just oh. the classic color works. Okay. Um, and then a few pe lots of people thought your comments on the uh, fallopian tubes is very funny. Uh, Doreen Duskin said, I'll never unsee that. Stephanie Payne said, LOL, oh my gosh, now my coffee is in my lap. Hope it wasn't too hot of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> no, I just, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> uh, Priscilla and Chelsea say, thanks for stitching our trucks, Kimberly. Oh. And then Patty Siner had a question about the trucks. She said, do I need to resubscribe, resubscribe to each truck in a long pattern every no. month? If you are in the trucking along club, you will get that for 12 months. If you were in the Chalkful Club, that's totally separate than Trucking Along, so you would need to, so those are just totally separate. Okay. And we have a few more questions, but I'm gonna save them for after the other stuff. Okay, so Cheryl has been working on Mania, and her first one is Hollow's Eve Haunting by Autumn Lane Stitchery. 
She um, is using the called for DMC and she's using 32 count from her stash. And um, she ordered, or she's using musky, no, murky from Picture This Plus. And so we have that on order. So um, that is, she got a lot done. Mm -hmm. And then her next one is Sam and Liberty by Priscilla and Chelsea, which they just commented, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So we mailed her that pattern on Friday. So she got that fast. She's using 32 count Lugana from her stash. Um, a weed or mushroom Lugana or Prim Lori Holtz would look good. And she's using the thread pack that we're selling. And so those are all the called for colors. And um, so it looks like she kind of started with the white, um, like I do. So those are Cheryl's. And the next thing we have is we're gonna do a stitch along with Bev McCullough of Flamingo Toes. So her pattern is Singing in the Rain and it goes with one of her fabric collections, which is also called Singing in the Rain. And this is hers framed. She stitched with Arafil and she stitched on just a 14 count white Ada. And this is just a standard picture frame that she got at Hobby Lobby. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a thread pack together and it's gonna ship to us in a week or two. And as soon as we get that thread pack, we're just gonna do a stitch along where maybe I do a row each week or I haven't exactly figured that out, but I'm gonna stitch it because I like it. So um, just to give you all an update on this, because a lot of you have asked. So basically, we're just waiting until the Arafil arrives from Arafil. And on the back, she shows her Arafloss colors and DMC colors, and she stitched it in Arafloss. But if you want to stitch it in DMC, it's also listed. So I wanted to let you know on that. That's super exciting. Just something different. And then, oh my gosh, so one thing that I can tell you is from this whole everything going on in the world, I cannot sleep at night. I can't fall asleep. I can't. I just am not sleeping. So I love Reddit. Reddit is, it's just, I don't know. It's just like you can, it's so hard to explain, but you can subscribe to threads that you like. So like you can do dogs or cats or jokes or politics or news um, all cross stitch. So I'm in a cross stitch thread and someone posted stitching or asked for stitching on these bags. So Lily's going to pop up the image. So this is Reddit and she said she got the mesh bag to hold her whips. What should she stitch on it? Too many choices, a pretty saying about stitching or a snarky quote or a monogram. And so I thought that was really exciting. And See, I stitched on mine. We're also going to put together um, something like a little free download maybe or a low price download. I haven't decided yet. Maybe with monogram letters to go on these and kind of working on fonts and do we want it to be cursive or um, more fat letters, kind of just working on that. So I was just super excited that I made it to Reddit. A week ago, uh, one of Lori's uh, So She Did was on Reddit and I was so excited. I saw it when I woke up and I texted. I was like, Lori, you made it to Reddit. And then I was excited <laughs> that my bag made it to Reddit. I was like, oh, I did something. I made a difference. I mm. Somebody liked what I did. Mm. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, just a vote of confidence. And then it was like, well, maybe that's good that I'm not sleeping because then I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> Um, so let me know if you have any questions on that before I move on to all of the other finishes that we have. All right. Uh, first of all, Doc Doc Goose Design says, thank you, Kimberly, for using my project bags. Yes. Yes. Thanks for making cute project bags. Um, let's see from Wilma Evans. When you use Aura Floss, do you run it through thread wax? I have been using this thread conditioner. So... I've been using this thread magic and so I run it through you can see that I've really used it up um, so I've been using that on all of my thread now it does um, you know it could be controversial definitely look into it to see if it's something you're interested in before you do it um, but I've been using it the last couple weeks okay. from Terry Lane did Kimberly use any stabilizing fabric on the mesh bag 
No. I just stitched right on the back. I literally just, um, I literally just like held it in my hand. What I did, so it's flat here. See how it's flat? But I needed to stitch on the corner. Obviously not this bag, but same thing. So I opened it, kind of flattened it, and then I just stitched and just kind of made it more flat by pulling it over. But of course, if you stitched in the center, you could kind of, you have to just make it, like make it where there's a section that you can grab. Okay. Um, from Sandy Taylor, what is Reddit? Reddit, she spelled it in different ways. Okay, Please so advise. Reddit is R-E-D-D-I-T. It's an app, it's a website, it's, um, I've had so many friends that I've told about it and they're like, that's, they're like, they try it and they're like, I don't understand it. It's stupid. Um, but it's one thing. I don't watch the news. I am clueless. I don't watch the news. I refuse to. It's like a known thing in our house. You don't turn the news on. Like when my in-laws come, we have to tell my in-laws, like, turn that off. I don't want my kids. I don't want them watching that stuff. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. And so on Reddit, Sometimes when you get on social media like Facebook, especially now, people can be mean and just crazy and they say crazy stuff. And so when I look at YouTube comments, same thing. But Reddit, you can subscribe to what you like. So I can just look at dog pictures all day or I can look at cross stitch all day. So you can really weed out by not looking at anything you don't like. And so that's why I like it because on Facebook, it's just a mix of everything. And also, I feel like Facebook is work. Um, I feel like it's like always, I'm always having to screenshot something, send it to work. Oh, we need to answer this person. You know, it's work. And Reddit is just like my little thing that I can do without it being work. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Lily, can you explain it? It's like an old yeah. school message board. Yeah, but um, I, I would say every generation uses it. Like I use it a lot now. Um, they have different topics about everything. Like. Kimberly was saying you, she follows dogs. I follow like an ask women thread, just general like women stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can follow all sorts of things. Different like YouTubers have their own subreddits too, where you can yeah. like, talk and about Yeah, and you can them like, there. if you're like a pod, like there's a oh, guy yeah. that does podcast and he mm -hmm. does podcasts called Cold or Unresolved or something. Mm -hmm. His name is Robin Wardner. I know his name. But when he posts a podcast, he also puts a summary on Reddit. So I know if I want to listen to the podcast, I can go first read the Reddit mm -hmm. and then go back and then listen. And then it's like, okay, I really know the story. Mm -hmm. um, but like when I totaled my car, for example, I'll give you an example. I just like, oh, I think I totaled my car, but like I need a car. So I need to know, should I be looking for a car? And the insurance company was like giving me the run around for like two weeks. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna post it on Reddit. So I posted on Reddit and I said, anybody with like car, and I put, I did it in the brand of my car. And I was like, does anybody who's like an insurance adjuster or anything know? And then they were like, yes, it's probably totaled. And so then I was like, okay, so now since they think it is, I'm gonna at least look for a car. And so when the insurance company called and said, yes, your car is totaled, I just texted the guy at the car dealership. And I was like, I want this car, here's the VIN number, give me the same deal you did last time. I literally went up there. I was in and out of that dealership in less than 30 minutes. I mean, I'm talking dr drove off. Like, so I can tell you, you can buy a car in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> but that's an example of Reddit, how you could apply it to your normal life. I mean, I'm not trying, I mean, like I have no association with Reddit, but I was just so proud of myself <laughs> that I made it to Reddit. I was like, I made it guys. Yeah, yeah you can post questions on there and you know, get advice from people. Stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, if you're going to, like, so say the doctor gives you a brand new drug to take, you can look up that drug and you can read different people's posts. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a message board. Yeah. Like, if you're a hardcore Republican or hardcore Democrat, there's threads for that. Mm -hmm. All Anything. I mean, it could be politics. It could be cars. It could be a color. You could yeah. follow the color pink. <laughs> I mean, it could be anything. And musicians, bands, mm -hmm. biographies, books. Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> any of that, pick it, it's on there. Yeah, there's also like a feel, like a wholesome section where they just post yeah. like cute things that happen in the world. Yeah, and there's one, it's called A All, like A W W W W, and that's what I follow, and it has dogs and cats. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
A um, few more questions here um, from Pacific Northwest Life. Any plans to showcase hand embroidery patterns at the shop? Not right now. Um, also, previous comment from Gail St Stahl? Stale? Uh, let me know which one's correct. Uh, when you were showing your mania, she said, OMG, bags match the stitch projects. So well, I try to, yes. I did get some of them mixed up this week because I was doing so many different things and I had like a little stash by my bed. And so like Sunday, I was like trying to get stuff together because I bring it in by the day and I was like, oh, I got it all messed up. Mm -hmm. All right, from Mary Moore, uh, she said, sorry to ask this again, but did Kimberly use vintage color for her Prim Village? Prim Village, I used Prim 25 Cal Lugana. Sorry. Prim Village, I used Overcast oh. 25 Count. Lori used Oatmeal 25 Count. Prim Series, I'm using Prim 25 Count. Uh, Sorry, it's, and, oh, I did want to address this, Prim, we have got so many of you calling customer service and emailing. Okay, so on this, this is 25 count. A lot of you guys want to use 14 count ADA. Me and Denise, we totally understand. So we went in the warehouse and we looked at every color of ADA we have. We don't have one that matches. So we are working with Fabric Flare to get a color that matches. And they sent us a batch of like, um, I don't know, like five and they didn't match at all. So they're sending another batch. And then as soon as we get a color that is similar enough to 14 count, we are gonna buy it and then let you know. We don't wanna send you a color that doesn't match because I don't want you to call and say, oh, it doesn't match. It will never be exactly the same color, but we are working on it. And um, the only reason we don't have an answer is because we didn't like that. You know, we just haven't found the perfect color and we still have plenty of time because the patterns don't strip until July. So I'm glad I didn't forget that. I wanted to show you Deborah made Bluebird Garden by Artful Offerings. So this is a 2018 pattern. It's so cute. And you guys, this is okay. I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna have Lily zoom in. So she, can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. So on this cloth, it's really cool. She got it, she said a friend of hers got it in France from, so I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. And it's got the little tag. It says cork linen driftwood. Anyway, it's really pretty. So that is totally different and really pretty. And this is the pattern. And I just, I love this. It's similar to 10 count, kind of. It's much smaller, but it kind of has that look. And she used silks. She used the Classic Color Works silks. And so she kind of, she just took the DMC and General Arts and picked colors that were silk and so that's why that is so pretty because it's got a cool fabric and she used the silks i love the silks the next mania that someone made was denise she made sunflower in by little house needleworks it's so cute Aww. did you use the called for colors so she changed it completely is it no. oh, okay so pretty so she this is prim right Oh, 28 count mushroom. It's so cute. So we'll have to see how we're going to go to her and I are going to go to Hobby Lobby because we got to buy a bunch of stuff to finish. And um, it's going to be so exciting. We put a big sunflower on it. And then Ashley, she works um, with Lily and does videos. Mm. This is Quilty Love. And so this is, we had shown this as a stitch along. This is Lori Holtz. This is mine. And I'm going to show you hers. Yay! So she's going to put it on a little cardboard. So what she did is she's brand new. This is the first thing she's ever done. I was so proud of her. I was like, can you please bring it? Go, Ashley. So she, um, she just, she didn't leave a border when she stitched. Um, I think she just didn't know. And then um, she put it on a poster board. So instead of sticky board, she put on poster board. And then you, I think she had it yesterday on a, um, when she showed me on like a clipboard type thing. So super exciting. So I'm excited that she um, she did it. Her stitches are really good. Yay. I know, so excited. 
And then we have some new stuff I wanted to show you. Um, this is new from Plum Street. It's called My Peaceful Home, Liberty Lodge, and a new constellation. So those are new from Plum Street. And then Annie B's Folk Art showed this at Nashville Market, and this is her first section. So she's going to have a total of 12. And um, she's kind of sneak peek those if you want to look on her social media. So this would be great for Jolly July. I also wanted to let you know that we got in DMC. So if you've been looking for DMC and you haven't been able to find it, we have a big shipment that came in. We got a big shipment of Monaco. And Monaco is what Priscilla and Chelsea use to stitch on and they dye it. Um, but Monaco is an even weave and they use 28 count. So I just wanted to let you know, we got a big shipment of all the different colors. And we can't, we don't sell it by the yard because Monaco is no longer sold um, on the bolts. And we also got a big shipment in of the sticky board. So hopefully these will last longer than a week. So just to kind of give you an update on new stuff. And um, that's what I have this week, but I'm happy to answer any questions or anything that you guys have. Um, so excited about having all this stuff to show you. Okay. Um, from Sandy Taylor. Kimberly said last week she wanted to know what we like. How about Kimberly tells us how she started Fat Quarter Shop, the beginning. Oh, I had a corporate job. I'm a CPA and it was right. I worked for a venture capitalist. So I worked for four men and uh, we couldn't raise money for the next fund because it was right when the internet crashed, like the internet boom, bust, I mean. And so I was like, oh, I'll just be a stay-at-home mom. And then Kevin and I got married in February and May 24th of 2003, we started Fat Quarter Shop. And it just started it like just from my home while I still had a job. Because obviously I couldn't just, I mean, I had a house. Um, I couldn't just stop working and then I just did it. There was no like, I don't know, there was no business plan. There was no MBA plan. There was no nothing. There was, it was right here. So sometimes I think, you know, I watch a lot of business shows and sometimes I just think y'all are just overthinking it. Like this, yeah, too much. I need 50 business plans. <laughs> like people always say, why don't you watch Shark Tank? I'm like, I live Shark Tank. I work mm -hmm. for venture capitalists. I did that. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> All right, from Vicki Milburn to check. Uh, she said, hi, Kimberly and Lily. What are the threads on the wall behind you, Kimberly? So behind me is just a color wall that we did for fun. Those are 50 weight Aurafil spools yep. that you would just use for regular piecing or quilting, and it's just for decoration. And Aurafil was just lovely enough to give those to us. We put them on this little wooden, you can get these at Joann's they're just wooden they're brown and we just put them on the wall and spray painted them yeah. spray painted them white before we put it on the wall mm. we just kind of did it like a rainbow so that it would just look pretty yeah that way we don't have to change it out mm -hmm. it can just stand alone forever <laughs> Okay, um, from Diana Stoudenberg, what cross stitch pattern would look good on minty green opalescent fabric flare? Thank you. I think I, I thought I stitched something on that. Um, I think maybe the jars would look good. Mm -hmm. Like one of uh, Priscilla's jars with hands on design. Happy Easter or Easter, Easter by Tiny Modernist, Easter something. Easter wreath would look good on there. That's from Tiny Modernist. A bunny, maybe her bunny. Penelope and Peep would look cute on that. Oh, oh and then the, Sa the Secret Santa series by Hands on Design Ooh. is on a similar, uh, similar fabric and that's like a set of 12 ornaments and she releases like they're not all out yet okay um let's see from kristen jackson she had a great comment she said i completely understand being excited to make it on something like reddit <laughs> twice now my instagram post has made it to live stream on fat quarter shop and i fangirl so hard oh that's funny that's very sweet we'll bring that back eventually right now it's just on pause because mm -hmm. 
we have a lot on our plate. Yeah, it takes a lot of extra time. Um, Tammy Brack says, did Kimberly get new glasses? Love I did. Ooh. Got new glasses. So super excited. The first, the first day I kind of struggled because it was really, um, it was hard to adjust. So I couldn't stitch as long. Like I would stitch an hour and then just like lay down for like 15 minutes. And I would stitch an hour and then lay, lay down for 15 minutes. Um, just to kind of get used to them, but I can see a lot better. And so it's really nice that like the screen in front of me, I can actually see it and I can Yay. see the date and I can see the time. Cause some, t I used to not be able to see that. So I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I still haven't got my hair cut or anything, but I'm just like, that's, I, I kind of have this thing where I'm doing one thing a week. So last week was glasses this week. Um, Emma has like a checkup, her annual checkup or whatever. And so you can't like miss it cause of vaccination. So that's Friday. So it's like every week I'm just doing one thing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Instead of 10 things. All right. From Mrs. B8T, uh, I'm new to cross stitching and embroidery and wanted to know what you do with leftover strands of six strands of floss. Do you wind the two strands on a separate bobbin, throw them away? What do you do? Um, so what I do on this, for example, is I just put it back. So this is like a smaller piece that's left over. I just put it on the other side. And then when I'm totally done with this, I'll just move it all to the end. I just save it all. On our floss, I wrap it back on. So on our floss, I just wrap it back around on one side and then I can see that it's fatter up here and I'll just pull it off. And then on my floss flowers, which I don't know, I don't know that I have any down there. On my floss flowers, I just put them on the little hook. So I don't usually throw them away. I mean, if I have a small piece left over, I'll throw it away, but mostly um, I keep them. Uh, from Kathy Johnson, what is Jolly July, please? So Jolly July is something that Priscilla and Chelsea and I do in July, and we're gonna, we celebrate Christmas, so we stitch something. Last year, I just did ornaments all Christmas and then finished them all and then at the end of the year I had a tree so we'll have the tree and decorate it and that's what Priscilla did last year. I started working yesterday on what I'm going to do this year and so it'll be different. It won't be as many ornaments. I haven't exactly figured out but I do know that I ordered a lot of Christmas stuff yesterday so that we could have a big variety and I'll have like a show and tell. I'll show like Lori stitch cards. How you can stitch them um, either finished in a frame or as pillows. I'm gonna bring back vintage Christmas that I stitched. I'm gonna bring back, I'm just gonna bring all the Christmas stuff that I have stitched. If Priscilla and Chelsea have anything they want me to show, they'll send it. And we'll just give you lots of ideas of things that we have done in the past, just to see if you like it. I'll show all the ornaments from last year. Maybe I can get Priscilla to send me all of her ornaments. Um, and then we're just gonna stitch throughout July. It's just a way to, you know, in mania, it keeps you going, it keeps you stitching. Cause you're like, every day I have to do something. Like right after this video, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've gotta do this. Cause like tomorrow is Snow Village part seven. And that, I cannot go fast on that one cause the stitches are small. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start right after this. So it keeps you like on a, I don't know, it's like a trainer. It just keeps you going it motivates you. And so it's just a way to motivate you to do something. And so, you know, if you're having a bad day, you can just say, okay, I'm going to stitch this. And then that's going to help you have a better day. Mm -hmm. All right. From Simone Harriman. I remember meeting Kimberly in Live Oak, Texas at a quilt show. At a quilt show. Oh, okay. I, okay. That weekend that was in San Antonio. I got really sick that weekend. Oh, no. um, so that weekend it was the only well, we did it. Okay, we did a quilt show. I got really sick. Like I got the flu or something. And I, I remember I had to drive home and I threw up on the way home. And then I just had some random friends that finished the show for me. And I think Kevin did. I mean, that was like, that was probably 14 years ago. Wow. Or 15. That was a long time ago. From Elaine H. Are you going to carry silks? Yes. So, if you want to email me at Kimberly at FatQuarterShop.com and let me know what is your favorite silk brand. We are looking into that. We do have all of the silks from Classic Color Works, but we will be adding at least two more vendors. We're just kind of um, deciding which ones to do right now. Right. From Jen Colt, she said, so who gets to dust those threads? The ones behind you. Oh, I don't think they even get dirty. If you do, all you have to do is get a, uh, 
what I do at home is um, an air. Oh, the air. Yeah. Yeah, the air gun. Can what of is air. it? Yeah, yeah the, can of air. So like on my sewing machine, it's always I dirty. So I just can. I and you're not supposed to. I know you're not supposed to use can of air. I don't care. I do it. I don't know. I just kind of. But you know, Emma likes to clean uh, sewing machines. So sometimes she'll say, "Can I clean it?" And I'm like, "Sure." But yeah, I just use a can of air for everything. Like when I have like my rulers, I have them on like ruler, uh, like ruler racks against a wall and they get dusty. I just get that can of air and psh. Or if I don't want to wipe my table down, I'll just use a can of air. Nice. It's like quick. Those get cold really fast. Some do, but some don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. And sometimes you can just take that little red thing off. Uh-huh. Just do it without it. Oh, I've never yeah. heard that. I have a lot of cans of air. <laughs> so I have to ask Melissa sometimes, can I have some, some air? Because <laughs> that, because, well, especially like right now, like I don't have as, like, I'm not going to go to the store. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, do we have any here? I'll just take it home and use it. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I do own the place. I can take it home. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like it's, I'm not really, I did go to, I did go to Michael's last week. Um. So my kids have been doing a lot of art and they are really, I'm so proud of them. They're just really doing a ton of art. And Emma was like, I just want four primary paints. And so I was like, what? So we went and she got these big, it was like so cheap. It was like $5, four big things of just cheap paint. And then she mixes it together. And then she makes all the colors and then her brothers and her use it. But she mixes it because she doesn't want them to mix it. But our whole kitchen table is just like a big, plastic sheet and they just paint and then the one thing I should bring it is so funny my son he took like a big poster board like that has the and he pretended he was Otis from WWE and he did a whole thing like before the WWE the private match or the VIP room you can meet me and this is the how much you have to pay and he put like the whole theme song of Otis and oh my gosh and I was like what is this and I almost think he might have done it for school. I'm like, oh my goodness, your teacher probably thinks you're crazy. So they're just doing like crazy stuff. Like it's always WWE. And yeah, it's, it took Kevin and I a while, but he makes the sound and he goes around the house saying it and it drives us crazy. It's new. And so we were like, can you just stop? One day we just had to say, okay, enough. And then we were watching WWE and it was the guy Otis says the sound. And we were like, what? <laughs> That's what you've been doing, and Emma was like, "How do you not know? It's on all the time." And I, we just never picked it up that that sound went with the That's whoever funny. Otis is. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, from Annie Shaw is the cork linen from Zweigart. The what linen? Cork linen, maybe. It's... Oh, oh yeah. no, it is from France. I don't think it's something that I don't think it's something that. Um, that we can buy it's just like a vintage piece um now if deborah wants to find it on somewhere we'll we'll definitely carry it but i don't think it is i think it's um she said a friend got it from overseas and she's just had it in her stash and that's the great thing about having a stash like with cheryl when she stitches she doesn't have to buy something she just uses a piece and you'll see on her pieces she uses some of the pieces over and over because she keeps it in her stash she doesn't have to feel like I feel like once you get a stash of thread or fabric or any of that stuff, you don't have to every time kit it because you can just go home and do it. You can just use what you have. Mm-hmm. All right. Also from Annie Shaw, she said at the beginning of the live stream, thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for being so devoted to your customers. Thank you. Thanks, Annie. We try. <laughs> Uh, from Crystal Rowe, how exciting is it to see all of the growth in the cross-stitching community and industry from your end? It's awesome. Um, I feel like Lori brought it back. Um, I'm glad that Lori got me into it because then I got to meet Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, and it's just been amazing. It's so fun. And it's, um, it's fun to do both. Um, now it's like, so it's like, okay, I got to stitch all week. And then during the weekend, I'll get up been getting up super early to do my quilting so I still fit it all in it's just well now I have all the time in the world I mean we can't I will say the neighborhood pool opens up Friday again it was closed for two weeks but once that opens back up I will be at the pool but I don't get in the pool I don't I don't swim I've almost drowned twice I do not swim I do not get in water I do not put my foot in water I do not get in the water ever it is a thing I will not Mm -hmm. 
so I go to the pool and I sit there and I stitch. Um, for Matthew Modisit, what was your first cross stitch pattern you completed? When I was a little kid, I did a frog and it's half stitch. It was like yarn. And I know it's in my dad, it's in my mom's attic because my dad saved it because I made it for my dad. So I know it's somewhere. I'll find it one day. But my parents, my dad is now deceased, but um, I know my mom's probably watching this, but they're like hoarders. There's a lot of stuff. My dad kept everything, like every Cabbage Patch doll in his attic is like he built rooms with doors and locks and when he passed away my mom needed some help so my father-in-law and my husband went over there and my father-in-law came home and he goes do you have any idea of how much stuff they have do you have any idea what's in that attic and i was like oh yeah i know i know and he was like you are in for it i was like yep i mean they just have a lot of stuff so mm -hmm. yeah. I just have a few more questions and comments here. Uh, Rafael Guy said, last week Kimberly said she wanted to be Lori Holt. Well, I want to be Kimberly. Oh, That's sweet. Okay. Kathy Birch, does stitching on Lugana get easier the more you do it? I think it's easy. I just can't go as fast. Um, and I do have to use a magnifier. But to be honest, when I use Ada, I use a magnifier. I literally, I have my little pad of, um, my little lap pad. And then I have my phone charger. And then my phone is up and then I watch my YouTube and then my light and then my thread. I mean, I just have stuff. And then Piggy now has decided he thinks that he needs to be on the lap pad. Like, that's what I call the little thing. And I'm like, Piggy, you can't. So he tried, he got on top of the prim village when I was stitching. Oh no, it was Kringles. I was stitching Kringles on Sunday. I was doing the brick and he like got on Kringles. I was like, you can't get on my stitches. So I think he's getting tired of the lap thing. Oh. <laughs> Uh, from Anna Sendejas, what size needle do you use when going over two on 18 count? 28 or 26. I prefer 26 at all times. 28 is much finer, and I feel like with the 28, it would go through your fabric easier because it's thinner. But man, when you poke yourself with a 28, it hurts. Mm. So um, I try to avoid 28 because I just cannot control. I mean, because I go fast. Like, I just try to go as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. And so once you prick yourself, you're like, ooh. All right, last question here from Mary Lou Kleiner. Is it possible to get an answer from a question if it's not answered during the live stream? Yeah, I would just post it, um, post it on there and we go through those. Um, we're not as quick as we used to be because right now some of us are working on customer service emails and working in the warehouse. But if it's not answered, all you have to do is just re-ask. I mean, we look at those every day mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we don't answer right away because we're trying to get the answer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like we don't know the answer. So then the answer will go to maybe me and then I'm like, oh, I don't know that answer. And then it goes to Denise. Mm -hmm. um, so we do try to answer all of them. Yes. So guys, have a great week. Um, I hope that I can keep the momentum up and we will uh, see what I finish in Mania next week. And remember to comment and tell me what color frame, you th what color you think Lori should paint the frame. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you next week. All right, bye guys.